I wanted to just take a moment because um, today was a different kind of day and I want to give you a quick update. Um, so one of the things we've been working on that I haven't yet included in the update emails but has been part of our days is uh, chattiness. So in class, um, there have been uh, days recently, um, and as the days have progressed in these last few weeks, it's become more frequent, uh, a lot of blurting out and a lot of talking and chatting and side conversations. And it's really started to slow down classes and chop them up, um, a lot of wait time and reminders and um, and just so things have been slowly, um, uh, everyone's getting more comfortable and things have been slowly um, been getting more difficult in class. So anyway, um, I'm saying this rather than writing it because um, I thought, I thought um, well, I'm hoping it's more clear this way. So anyway, today uh, we tried something new and it was to put five stars on the board and for each block. They had five chances, and if someone blurted or talked, then I would erase the star, and if they got down to zero stars, they'd lose recess. It's a pretty traditional teaching method. Now, those stars went away pretty quick at the first block, and by maybe halfway through the first block, we'd already lost recess. And that was very defeating for a lot of students, and I knew it would be. And so right after first block was over and the lesson was over, we gathered back together on the carpet in a circle, and we talked about it, and everybody you know, express their feelings or emotions, both about, you know, losing recess and the system and the blurting and everything. We really had a good long 20 minute conversation where everybody was pretty honest. Um, so the end of that, res the result of that conversation was we got a second chance, we got recess back, but more importantly, um, we really listened to each other about, you know, how we need class to happen so that we can help everybody learn. Um, so we came up with a couple different strategies. The kids did. Um, everyone who wanted to try a blurt pad got a blurt pad. So at their desk, they have a place to write down their blurts instead of um, saying them. That seemed to work pretty well. Um, everyone also, a lot of kids asked if they could stand behind their chairs instead of sit at their desks while class was happening. And I said, absolutely, let's give that a shot as well. Um, that helped get some energy out. So we had some standers and some trying out of that as well. Um, I wanted to hold to my word about the five star thing for today, so we did go with it for both uh, blocks three and four. I'm sorry, uh, two and four. Um, digital citizenship was block three, and everyone did great. We had a great rest of the morning. But um, your students might come home ch talking about that because it was sort of a a big part of our day, an important part of our day. And I think some kids were pretty emotional and had some strong feelings, some big feelings about um, both the blurting, the losing the recess, the getting back of the recess. Um, and, and everything that went with it. So if you want to have a conversation about your kids, uh, about this with your kids, uh, sorry, it's been a long day, um, that, that would be terrific. I think I think further processing and debriefing might be really helpful for them and, and for you too. So thanks for listening. I appreciate it. And if you want to stick around, I have a little bit more information about one of the things you're going to see in the weekly work uh, envelopes, some end of quarter um, results of a couple of different things we're practicing. So thank you. Have a great weekend and keep in touch.